Hey everybody, this is Jason Saint hanging out at Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky, and I'm sitting here with the beautiful, talented actress, Lisa Wilcox. <laughs> Hi, y'all. How you doing today? Hey, excellent. How about yourself? I'm tremendous. I'm sitting next to Lisa Wilcox. I mean, there's <laughs> no, really not too many better places to be sitting. <laughs> so, how you been? Excellent. Awesome, excellent. awesome. Staying active, getting, uh, oh, getting all them roles. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Well, I left acting for quite a while, but right. I'm back to it full time now. Awesome, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, and I have four projects on the calendar for next year already. Tremendous. I'd love to get into that in yeah. just a second. Yeah, but but first, bet. I gotta ask, we're at a horror convention, so yes, I gotta ask. Are. Nightmare on Elm Street, four and five. What was it like working on the set? Oh, it was fascinating because mm -hmm. you learn like how they do all the special effects. Right. You know, so you're wandering around and you're like, oh, oh, wow, oh, that's how you do that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like being on a playground. You I know, can, I can an adult playground. Sure. It, I mean, it's fascinating. And then, and then it's so interesting. Like, I remember some of the scenes that I would do. I have body doubles and stunt doubles mm -hmm. and like Olympiads, like being. And I remember one day being on set and I literally saw four other Alice's with the ponytail in the leather jacket, the jeans in the same outfit because they were doubling me or stunt doubling me or something like that. So, I mean, every day was just like a blast. You know? I can imagine you got a lot of cool pictures with all your stunt doubles where you're just like, which one of us is it? I have some of that. Yes. <laughs> I have. Awesome. Or it'd be like, oh, there, uh, there I am. Oh, there I am again. Oh, there I am. You, know? you almost want to make a picture where like one of you changes something different. So you're like, spot the differences. Right. right, like, right well, right, this right. one has an earring and this one doesn't. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do they call that game? And they have it in magazines sometimes. It's so fun. Spot the difference, I is guess. That, I don't is it know. called Spot the, the Difference? The I love it, yeah. that. Anyway, so yeah, it was a blast. So um, out of all the films you've worked on, is that are those your favorites or do you have others that you would uh, rank above them? Yeah, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street would have to be my favorite. And, and probably understandable. four, like people ask four or five, you know, it's kind of like trying to choose between your children, you know, right. which one do you right, like right. better? Your but, dream children? But, <laughs> my dream children, yes. Uh, but I, I would have to say probably four only because the true development of Alex's character. Right. From, you know, daydreamer, introverted, shy, to an extrovert and, you know, to kick extra ass. Extra badass. Yeah, like Absolutely. you just see that character arc happen and as a mm -hmm. performer that is like a dream role. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. to see that transition and transformation happening, you know. Right, right. Yeah. So um, what made you want to be an actress? Like who was it that you saw and said, I want to do that because she did such a good job? <laughs> well. Or he. <laughs> uh, probably Meryl Streep. I think she's just such a chameleon actress that, I mean, she just blows me away. But I can't say she's the one that inspired me to be an actor. I was never going to be an actor. I was going to go into the medical field because my family is all in doctors and nurses and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, no, it was it was literally, I went with a friend to an audition. Well, I'm from Missouri originally, and we just moved mm -hmm. out to California. And I met this friend, and he was going for a, an audition at a playhouse, Buddy Epson's Playhouse in Newport Beach. Right on. And I went, and I just sitting there watching the auditions and he had to go just to show up for the auditions and the producer kept going like this you're auditioning for the role of the I'm like oh no 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 right. no 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 and it was Lanford Wilson's play The Hot Al Baltimore and she asked me three times I'm like oh my god okay you know so I went up audition I got the lead role wow and I was bit by the bug ever since you see that that's so, what you call a natural though yeah I guess you could like you say, you fell into something you ended up being great at into it. and that's tremendous and then I just did play after play after play went to UCLA mm -hmm. got my theater degree and then okay. was working in TV after college, right after college. perfect so that's an awesome career feel pretty blessed lucky lucky right and right. I worked hard though man yeah I, but I guarantee it I guarantee it so speaking of working hard what are you working on right now what do you have coming up <gasps> Well, I have, okay, it's called The Mansfield Killings, and it takes place in Mansfield, Ohio. It's based on a true story mm -hmm. that happened in 1948 about a very vicious murder mm -hmm. of a family. And it's based on uh, a, a book. Mm -hmm. uh, this author is autographed, and the director was very interesting. She said, Lisa, I work a little different. I want you to get the book. It's on Amazon and see what character you identify with. Oh, that's and that's yeah, different. and I totally identified with the mother, wife, uh, Nolana. Right on. And so I'm really excited about that. That'll be next May. And then I have another one called Crossburg. So remember the movie in Independence Day? Of course. Okay, of course. it's kind of like Welcome that. Welcome to Earth. It's kind of like that, Aliens Landing, and it's a period piece. It's when Lyndon B. Johnson was president, mm -hmm. and I'm playing an agent that is one of the agents that's trying to secure the situation, but I don't want to give right. away that I don't want to. 
to give it away too no much. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> and then I have another one called Bloody Man. And actually, they have a table here at this convention. Yes. And Tuesday night will also be in it as well. Yeah, we just spoke to her about that. Yep. And this is a, a really fun uh, script. Mm -hmm. It's a horror, but there's kids in it. And mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun ride. Very and cool. And then I have nice. another one called Mystery Spot. And that will be in Dallas. Wow. So yeah. my next question is, when do you sleep? Because it doesn't seem like you have time to. I mean, not well, that you need beauty sleep, yeah. but you got to rest well, sometime. Well, you rest and you sleep and then you go, 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 and right. then you collapse. And then you got to ask then the director. You go, 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 and then you collapse. Yeah. And you ask the director, when am I doing the four-hour nap scene? Right. Because I've been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're, sometimes you're like, oh, good, I just have to lie still in this scene. But, right. Perfect. Oh, I can take a break. Yeah. I close my eyes for it? Okay, good. Right. <laughs> and I'm doing commercials now, too. Jeez. You might have seen... Um, like a renaissance woman. Uh, you might have seen Pro Flowers, Mother's Day. They played the heck out of that one. Mm -hmm. I did a Little Caesars pizza. I don't know if you have Little Caesars out here. Do you have Little oh, Caesars? Yeah, oh, yeah, we have Little Caesars. Okay, have I you did seen a my physique? there. <laughs> Come on now. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I did a Yamaha commercial and got to ride motorcycles for, eight, for a week in wow. Oregon and Washington. So you have legitimately done it all. I mean, what's next? I'm I mean, just really glad to be doing it again full time. And we're very glad to have you doing so, it again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, it's guys. Nice to meet you. If you get a chance, you got to meet this lady. Not only is she super personable, but she's stunning. <laughs> this Aww. is a gift getting to sit next to her. You're sweet. I'm bragging right now. <laughs> See y'all later.